Hello everyone! In this video we're going to reassemble our case and then we're going to install our external cables. To get started we have the front of our tower here and we'll put on our front cover. Now remember the front cover just had these locking clips on the side so we just need to line it up and all we need to do is push down in the corners. And now the front case is locked. We've got our USB ports, our headphone, and our mic port. Also on the front here we also have our DVD disc drive that we installed. I can turn this on its face. And now we can do our external cables. So for this part I'll take off my anti-static wrist strap. And I can take my power cord. And I can just slide the plug in here. And you shouldn't have to force any one of these cables as you install the cables to the back of your tower. I've got a USB for my keyboard. These you do have to align. So take a close look regarding how you need to align it. You'll see the correct end to slide in. Then I have another USB. So this is my keyboard mouse combo. And again, we'll take a look at the alignment of the USB and plug it in. Also at this time, I have my graphics cable. For me, I have a DVI connection. The DVI is going to go to my white port here on my graphics card we had installed. So I'll plug that in. And we've got two screws on that. We can just easily screw it until it's snug. You don't need to over tighten these. It's not going to fall out. Lastly, I have an audio cable and I have my network jack. I'll plug in my network jack to my Ethernet port. Then my audio cable is green for my speakers out. And I'll plug that in my green speaker out port. Our external cables are installed. Last thing, we take a look at the side. It's still open. We need to close it off with the cover. With the cover, it's just going to slide on. You can see the slots here along the top that we're going to lock it into. I'm just going to rest it in. You can shift it and feel it to slide into place. And then there should be no force really needed here. You just slowly slide it forward. Then I have my locking screw, but you know I can just close that by hand, and then I can give it a little bit of a snug tighten, and again we don't need to over tighten that, and now we're done. Our case is put back together, and it's ready to go. Thank you for watching our video.